Hey everyone, Kristen Ostrander here from the Amazon Files brought to you by Mommy Income. This is your question of the week. The question of the weeks are submitted by our viewers and our followers and YouTube listeners and podcast listeners, and they ask questions relating to Amazon and we're happy to answer them. So once a week we pick from the questions and we answer your question. If you want your question answered on the Amazon Files question of the week, you can send an email to admin at mommyincome.com or you can post below this video, I have a question and we'd love to uh, answer your question when we can. So this week, our question comes from Jenny Kay and she asks about prep centers and she said, when should I start using a prep center? When does it make sense to add this cost? Uh, my short answer is uh, yesterday. <laughs> um, now, the reality is a lot of people are new and they're not sure when they should add a prep center. What a prep center basically does is free up your time and your energy and your space. So I'll give you a great example. Right now, in it's been a polar vortex in the whole entire United States. It is freezing cold today. It's literally below zero. Um, and now it's not even with wind chill. It's negative 15 right now in Michigan where I am. But what's the greatest thing about it is as I'm ordering wholesale products or even if you're ordering online arbitrage items, the items aren't coming to my home anymore. They're going to a prep center. They're receiving it, they're organizing it, they're tagging it, they're polybagging it, and they're sending it to Amazon for me. That is worth its weight in gold, especially on days like today when I don't have to worry about whether or not UPS or a freight truck or FedEx can actually come and deliver my packages. It doesn't put me behind. It gives me the freedom to be able to work from anywhere and be able to do that. Now, if you're a beginner, it makes even more sense for you to get used to the cost now because what happens is later on when you get used to your fees and you get used to prepping and get used to working in your own space, it's really hard to kind of take the hit at the end and say, oh, now I have to pay for a prep center and it's really expensive and now you're kind of like, oh, you know, it, it really hurts to try to think about how much that's going to cost you at the end. Um, but you have to look at the cost versus uh, what's it worth to you. So even when it's raining in the scent, you know, that Amy told a story uh, last week on the show about how she was on vacation and a freight company said, we're delivering a pallet today to your house. And she was like, uh, no, you're not because I'm not there. What if it rains? And she didn't want it sent back to the manufacturer. So she had to make arrangements for that pallet to come. And then end comes prep center. Um, when you do a prep center it's really important to count the cost and realize also what you're saving yourself from that's not just money related it's time it's energy it's space I mean can anybody relate to the fact that cardboard and tape and packaging is taking up your entire living room and space and guest room and basement and you know everything else so that's one of the things that a prep center does as well as really helps you to um, free up your time and your space yes it has a cost involved you know but just like Amazon fees they store things for you, they ship to your customer, you don't have to worry about customer service or returns or things like that. So you're paying for a service that really helps you save time and energy and things like that. So um, I would say if you're a beginner and you meet the credentials, uh, a lot of different prep centers have um, different volumes that you have to be reaching in order for them to work with you. So maybe it's 100 items a month, you know, something like that. As long as you meet the threshold, I feel like you should build that into your cost right now and then free yourself up. You could literally be sitting on the coast somewhere right now with your laptop, placing wholesale orders or placing orders to send to your prep center while they're receiving your inventory and you're sitting on a beach somewhere. I mean, that's like living the dream, right? So I would say as soon as possible, Jenny and everyone else who's listening, add a prep center and count the costs immediately. They, there's some prep centers that will accept your retail arbitrage drop-offs. Um, our personal preference is myprepcenter.com. Nathan and Bridget are always um, happy to talk to you guys there and um, talk to you about their requirements and all that. They are the Amazon prep center bundle experts. They bundle things and they make it very affordable. So that's why we use them because we're almost 100% bundles and it just makes sense. But you know, it's something for you to think about when you're bundling things for um, 
Amazon, they make it very affordable uh, as opposed to some other centers that we've checked into and they just, they charge so much for bundling that it's just not worth it. So um, reach out to Nathan and Bridget at um, myprepcenter.com and you can talk to them about that. Make sure you tell them that Kristen and Amy sent them over um, from the Amazon files from Mommy Income and um, just let them know you heard from us. But yes, I would say whether you're a beginner, whether you're doing wholesale, especially if you're doing wholesale, especially if you're doing bundles, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to prep bundles and receive them and break down pallets and then ship them back in and things like that. So if you can take that off your plate and have somebody else do it, it will give you peace of mind. It will cost you a little bit at first, but what you can do with your time when you're not prepping and boxing and shipping, then you can spend time on money-making tasks like finding profitable products to sell on Amazon. So that's what we replace our time with. Instead of receiving pallets, we're diving through catalogs and looking at online stuff and doing research. So um, that is our answer for you, Jenny. I hope that that clears things up for you as far as I know you said you were a beginner, um, but I would look into a prep center as soon as you possibly can to um, build that into your cost of goods so that you can free up your time to do more important things like hang out at the beach, take a nap, cozy up with a pillow, whatever it is you want to do. So again, you can submit your question of the week questions to admin at mommyincome.com or you can post them below this video and we'll be happy to answer your question of the week. We'll see you next time on the Amazon Files.